To demonstrate the formation of an ionic and a covalent bond and their differing properties, we have a piece of magnesium ribbon. Magnesium ribbon can be burned in a flame. I'm going to lower it then into this can to protect our eyes so that we don't look directly at the bright white light. The white product formed is the white magnesium oxide. An ionic compound is formed when magnesium reacts with oxygen. It's a very stable compound as is evidenced by the large amount of heat and light that's released. Here we have a piece of roll sulfur. We can take a small piece of the roll, sul roll sulfur and place it in the deflagrating spoon. We're going to heat it in the spoon and the sulfur will melt and ignite. Then we're going to lower it once it has ignited into this bottle of oxygen gas so that the flame will be more visible. Sulfur burns with that lavender flame, producing sulfur dioxide gas, SO2. Sulfur dioxide gas is a covalently bonded compound. 